Hello and welcome back to the Tim Foss YouTube channel. I am starting my YouTube career back up again. I am with Joe and Carms. And today we are going to go to my three favourite pubs in Chelsea. Let's go. Today I am driving the absolutely fantastic New Shape uh, Defender. I've never driven a New Shape Defender before so it's really, really exciting. And this car has been provided by Hallmark. So make sure you go and give them a follow. They sell some of the most insane bespoke cars and I'll be working with them a lot going forward. So make sure you drop them a follow on Instagram. I'll be creating a lot of their reels and Freddie TFJJ creates a lot of their images as well. So absolutely fantastic content if I do say so myself. Hello well, everybody, welcome to my new yellow GT4. He's taking over Everybody my vlog. The colour art. Do they? Yep. Oh, I quite like it. Thank you, you're the only one. Yeah, no, I think it's nice. Um, but how are you finding your new car? I love it, it's actually quite alarmingly sad how much I love it. You've been driving it a lot. Sad, sad person. It's <laughs> filthy and I love the filth. It's very... At least it's a pretty filthy car. Very dirty. Hello Joe, how Hello. are you? Hi, this is Joe, uh, Joe's new to the vlog. Everybody's new to the vlog. Joe is. Nice uh, to meet you, vlog. He's a, a very well renowned photographer, and I'm going to put some of his pictures up now. I didn't get that. <laughs> I think you've been on my vlog before. People will know who you okay, are. Thanks. So, yeah, but I, Joe. I appreciate the intro. Welcome. Thank he's going to be taking some behind the scenes photos and stuff today, so that's really exciting. So, we've got the GT4, we've got the new shape Defender, which we're going to have a little look round as well. So, this is going to be cars and non alcoholic beer. Excited? Very excited, let's do it. The interior in the new Defender. Oh, okay, it's so nice. Look, it's got all these digital displays and everything. CarPlay fills the whole screen, which is really nice. My Joe and the Juice. It's got loads of storage, like down here. Um, under here is lots as well. No, it's, it's really cool. And this as well. So this is all digital um, as well. No, it's really, really, really nice in here, to be totally honest with you. It's <laughs> definitely worlds apart from where my Defender is, but I guess it should be, right? It's kind of a different car. The back, not so large. So we're at the first pub, and it is the surprise. Let's see if I can... Get it up there. Absolutely love this place. Uh, on a summer's afternoon, just kind of hanging out outside on the street here. Uh, really good vibes. It's in a really quiet area in Chelsea. Uh, and it's got not bad parking as well. The car is looking very nice outside the front of it. So I'm gonna get a few pictures here. How's your beer? Oh, it's really good. It's hitting the spot. Carms, how was the non-alcoholic selection? Whoa. Uh, Lucky Saint's always a winner, so happy they're serving it. I'm on a Lucky Saint too. I think it's good, you know, places having more non-alcohol-free non options. Lucky Saint is a very safe choice. It tastes like a standard old lager, <laughs> but it's alcohol-free. <laughs> this is not an advert. No. <laughs> <laughs> No weird fruity vibes, it's just a good old fashioned lager. Okay, we are at destination number two, and this is the Fox and Hounds. Just behind Sloane Square. Absolutely exceptional little pub. We've got Joe modelling it right now, and it's tiny. It's so, so small. But I think it's really, really nice, and again, good vibes to stand out maybe here. Really big. Maybe, maybe you are. Who knows? <laughs> and in here, they sell zero percent Guinness. So we are going to go and try ourselves a zero percent Guinness. Of course, we have the Defender part right next to it. Perfect. <laughs> Okay, so we have an alcoholic Guinness for Joe, and this is a non-alcoholic Guinness, but it's from a can, but I wish they would have just made it a little bit bigger to complete the pint, because that is a full can. But Joe's gonna taste both and see 
If he notices a difference. Let's see. Okay, start with the zero percent. It smells legit. Now the real thing. It's a man that knows what he's doing. <laughs> Is there a difference? <laughs> Is there a difference? That woman was laughing at me. Um, there's a little bit of a difference. This one tastes a bit more... A bit fuller. What? The real one? Yeah, yeah. This, this one, the, the alcoholic version, tastes a little bit more... Yeah, but is it rich. possible? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, if you were driving, would you be like, oh, this is annoying? No. Definitely not. It's... It's a vibe. Like, I'd, if, I, if I wanted a lighter version of this, I'd just go for it. Fox and Hounds, really, really nice, small little pub behind Sloan Square, good beers, 0% Guinness, what more do you want? Especially when you're driving the beast that is the Defender. Uh, so I'm gonna give this pub a four out of five, which is a high rating, Joe? 3.8 for me. 3.8? Uh, yeah, 3.8. I, I would have preferred to hang probably at the other one. This one's really cool, a bit of a different vibe. Um, I liked how they had the sport on. Six Nations just starting today. That was building up inside. I, d I could definitely spend a long time. There you go. That's the rating. We're off to the next one. Let's go. We are at our third pub. And that is... Three. The Fiend. The Fiend in SW3. Uh, great pub, has a nice little outdoor space, uh, really nice feel. On a cute little street down in Chelsea. So let's go and sit inside and see what their drink selection is. Of the door here, the nice little foliage. Tape as well. Well, not tape, red rope. Must be good, right? Just had another Lucky Saint. Lucky Saint seems to be the one, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's hitting the spot for you. Yeah. So it's good. The Fiend's always nice. Nice little cosy vibe. The weather has turned, well, it was always great, but now it's like really cold. So we're, we're shivering a little bit. We, we need to man up, person up. It's being cold and ick. I don't know, there's so many icks nowadays. This was going to be the last pub, but I have to show you one more. Yeah, a bonus, a bonus pub. Um, it's on the King's Road, it's super popular, so we have to go there. We're going to head there now. Just before we go to the last pub that I'm adding, my friend has turned up in his amazing GT3 Touring. It's in a beautiful green with silver wheels. This car is just so classy, I think. Honestly, this is, I think this is actually my dream car. Yeah. It's just so nice. Silver tips, beautiful green, this red bar that runs along the back. Obviously it's the Touring, so it's the GT3 with no wing. And I just think that side profile is just so nice. And on the interior, if we can have a look, you can probably only see me, but it's a tan interior as well. So absolutely stunning, so classy. I just think this is an absolutely massive win. Fantastic car. Okay, so here it is. The Cadogan Arms. Recently opened and regenerated. Let's go inside. What's your rating? Uh, it's a homely place. <laughs> I'm going to have to give it 4.8 because I've, I've been here a few times. It's good vibes, isn't it? Yeah, it's good. How's it getting? It's very good. That was just a quick stop at the Cadogan Arms, which is your bonus pub. I would say it's probably the most popular one of all the ones we've been to. The other ones are a little bit more um, under the radar, shall we say? 
But Joe gave it a 4.5. 4.8. Oh, 4.8? Yeah. Yeah, it was a vibe to be fair. Kenzie's joined us. Kenzie, what would you rate that pub out of five? Uh, out of five, I would probably say, oh. Out oh, eight. A what? There is someone looking at the car. <laughs> okay, we're trying to avoid game parking tickets. He just, I would give that pub a 4.8 out as well. He's it's the busiest. I reckon it's it maybe the best. I hope you've enjoyed these then four pubs, uh, my four favourite pubs in Chelsea. Uh, Joe's, where is he? He's come <laughs> along for the ride. <laughs> Calm's uh, left off. Uh, if you hit any of these up, please do let me know. Add them to your favourites, add them to your wish list, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.